Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. Today I'll be explaining, wait, I'm frozen. I'm frozen in frame. Melody, help me. Oh, I'm transforming into an astronaut. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone, it's Melody. So in this video, um, I'm gonna introduce to some of our feature updates. Uh, first one is uh, AI art image and the second part uh, I'm gonna introduce the, some new transition assets that we put in the assets library So these transition assets will help you to work together with uh, the AI art image to have some really magic and uh, um, beautiful transition between your raw camera and uh, the final art image So let's get started so first part, let's walk through about the AI art image. There are two ways to get access to this feature. So first is go to hierarchy panel and click add object and go to the 2D category. So at the end of the 2D category, there is a AI art image. If you click this one, it will help to automatically add this AI art image in hierarchy. And in the assets panel, you can see it generated this AI, AI art texture as well. So you see, we already have like this AI generated effects on the screen. So the upgrades part is for the AI art texture, there are several things you can customize. For example, original texture input, default setting is the building render output but you can choose whatever texture you want it to generate it from for example if i just use a maybe a background texture there and this is how the background texture looks like so <laughs> still have some changes based on the original texture there but you get what i mean you can customize the original texture there and let's move it, give it back to the uh, default setting there and uh, here this is the, the prompt you can customize and uh, the default one we set is the uh, festival lights spaceships relieve your imagination and creativity just uh, trying to type in whatever like, prompts or contents you want it to generate and here this is the prompt strength so i think if you increase the value the result will get more closer to your uh, prompt contents there and uh, the most exciting thing is, besides the, the pop art style, we also provided the other two styles, fantasy and the retro anime. And uh, we have like building transition for this one. Currently, it only has one style, which is the fading effect there. So you can choose this one or you can set it to none. So when the result show, it will just uh, like uh, pop up, uh, pop in the result immediately there and this is the, the autoplay selection you can customize as well so that is about the updates for uh, ai art texture and uh, the first way to add it is through the hierarchy add object or if you just want it to create like a texture you can go to assets texture category and you see it is uh, it has like AI art texture. So you can also click it and add the, the AI art texture from here. Let's keep it like this way. And uh, one more thing is, I'm not sure if you realized, actually when the results show up there, you don't know like how long you need to wait or if people wanted to have some control or the things happened after the result being generated, what should they do? So we also have a node called AI generation controller. So this node is helps to like set some triggers before and during or after the AI result being generated. So you can totally use this node to connect with other logic settings and uh, make your effect looks much cooler. Yeah. So that is the part about the AI art texture. And the next part, I'm going to introduce the, how to use this AI art effect with some like customer transition that we have already set it and uh, uploaded to our assets library. So when you open asset library and uh, go to uh, screen effects in here, you can see we have already like, prepared 10 
customer transition style for you. This looks super cool, right? And uh, how can we use the transition uh, with our AI art effect? So next, I'm going to show you how to do that. We can pick one transition that you love to use. Let me see which one is my favorite. Wow, it's a little bit hard to pick. Everything looks so cool. Let's try the zoom out one maybe. So click the, uh, the button, I go at the right corner there, and we import this zoom out transition assets in, into our project already. So in here, you can see when you import the assets, it consists of several items here. This is a prefab and also the texture go with the prefab and the material go with the prefab as well. So what we need to do is just select the prefab and drag it into hierarchy. And now you can preview the fact of this zoom out transition, which is super cool, right? So you can see uh, this transition happens between two images. And uh, if you go to this zoom out material and you can set, uh, see the setting of this transition material. So you can see it, the transition happens between the texture A to texture B. And uh, we also exposed the progress bar for our creators to uh, use it. And you can pin this uh, node into visual scripting and control the progress there. So once you preview uh, the effect of this transition, what we want to do is combine them together with the, the, the AI art image, right? And we also have a preview if you're ready that is found with your AI effect setting. What we next do is compile the transition, applying the transition onto this AI image there. So the first thing we want to do is, let's enable this one, go to this transition material. And what we want to do is set it the final target texture to this AI art texture. And uh, to make the transition look more natural, we can pick the texture, we can pick the, the building render output as the texture A. So this is the, the original texture of this AI art texture as well. So actually you can see the results is already there, but after you're changing the material, the texture of the material, you have already applied the transition to your AI image there. And uh, for this transition effect, actually, if you go to this material, uh, go to material editor to take a look of this material. In here, uh, we have like, set a default movement demo. So this part is making like, the transition happen automatically by default. So if you wanted to fully control like, when to trigger this uh, transition, you can delete this movement demo and then go to visual scripting to ping this progress variable into visual scripting. And uh, what we want to do here is, so for example, I want the transition happen only after this AI art image is ready, after it generated, right? So what we can do is at the beginning of this effect, we wanted this AI generation start. Oh, and also we wanted to assign uh, this AI art texture to this generator. And at uh, the beginning, we don't want it, this zoom out transition to show up there. So probably we can set visibility on at the beginning. We just set it on this disabled, invisible. But if the AI texture has a result, then we can set this transition being visible. And uh, in addition to that, we can also start it. This transition happened. So we can make a start a timer and we want a transition to be maybe like a one second in one second. Cool. So now if I click restart and you see if the, the AI texture is ready, then it will trigger the transition happen. So and the transition happen like uh, within one second or can customize the transition time to two seconds as well. 
and uh, it's the same. You see, the transition happened a little bit, turned the time and happened a little bit longer. So that is the uh, quick and uh, simple demo to show how can you integrate it, customize the transition with our AI effect together to create a magic transition effect there. And besides the, the zoom out transition, as I showed, we also have like several more customer transition and they are all look super cool. So definitely try that. And we're really looking forward um, to your creativity. Thanks everyone. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.